everybody, Garrett Claridge here, and here's one of my party speakers that has somehow survived. You can see they're a little foam rotted, like just a slight case of foam rot. I could still touch it, but the edge, you can see it peel away a little bit. It's the uh, first signs of some foam rot, guys. But anyway, the uh, tweeter's blown on this guy. The woofer seems to be working just fine, no rubbing or anything. You'll see this uh, big wire coming out of the port. It's because the uh, terminals on these things actually have a protection circuit on it, so when the maximum power is reached, the whole speaker will just shut off until the circuit cools down. And that's no fun for us because, of course, we're going to be plugging it into this big bastard here that has no protection on it whatsoever, so we're going to send it full distortion and see what the hell this thing can do. I know people really love Sirwin Vega, but, you know, I, I don't see a big deal with them. They're just, I mean, they're built okay, but nah. Now these, this is kind of the generation that was uh, the best, the older stuff. The newer stuff's just all Chinese and whatever now. No good. Like these ones, you can actually see they have cast frame woofers on them, which is pretty common with the uh, pro audio stuff, like my bigger, my bigger shit. Look at the, uh, the rust on this. <laughs> I treat my stuff good, eh? Look at that. Getting rusty. Hey, when you move your speakers around and you got a guy doing vinyl scratch in there, that's probably a bad sign. Check out the mold on this guy, too. Got rust and mold, good combination. I'm pretty sure these two don't work, but this one does. These are some other, out of some more speakers. The uh, two cabinets have uh, survived, like this one and uh, this one. The other two cabinets were just so soggy, I just threw them in the fire and, like, fuck it. Now I'm going to play that uh, drum and bass track that you guys heard on the sound system test fail video. One of my friends made it so there's no copyright or anything. Oh yeah, that woofer is working good. A little scratchy. That's it. I tore the whole <laughs> foam off there. Oh yeah, the foam was still pretty good other than the edges. Yeah, that was pretty good foam. Come on, seriously? Well, that was lame. Oh yeah, there we go. Puked its guts out, eh? <laughs> oh, and it's hot too. Oh, look at the uh, whole voice coils right out of the out of the thing there. If I push it back in, turn it up. Nope. <laughs> Toast. We'll see if these other ones work. I'd really doubt it, but you might get something out of these. And that coil didn't even burn. Lame! Alright, after a quick test, this one's completely dead. And this guy has a bit of life left in it, but it's really, really scratchy, so this one could be fun. There we go. Oh, look at that red hot. 
red hot wire in there. That's why we use monster wire here. And it peeled the, uh, the spider right off. Look what I see. <laughs> Ooh. Hell yeah. Sir Winfaga Power!